This is David Prosper, host of The Leadership Revolution. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast from Public House Media. Hey, Choose to Rise fans, Kim here. Did you know that in addition to the health and wellness coaching that I do on a regular basis, I also have been providing some life coaching to people? Yeah, you can get involved. So like my whole passion area is helping others live their best lives. And while I was helping people work through their fitness and nutrition struggles, it really came down to the fact that life was getting in the way. Isn't that true for all of us, right? Like when there's not something going well at home or there's not something going well in our relationships or we just have a bad mindset about something or we're just not sure we just need someone to talk to, all of those things can really throw us off our game. So when in this whole process, figuring out that life is the thing that keeps us from reaching our fullest potential, I really even started working with women, not just on their fitness and nutrition, but also on life. And so I have created some time in my schedule that I want to offer up as an opportunity for you that anyone, anyone in the world um, that fits these time frames, I would love to be able to work with you on working through life. And let me be your mentor. Help, let me be the person that you chit chat with and work through things, set goals, work through struggles, any of the things, or really maybe you just need someone to talk to because you don't feel like you have someone in your life that you can talk through about certain situations. I would love to be that person for you. My whole goal in life is to help as many people rise up out of the current situation as possible. And if that means helping you through a struggle, I want to be there for you. So head over to choose to rise up.com slash daily motivation, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the whole section on life coaching and, um, when you can schedule what, how, what it costs, all of the things. And, um, I want to be there for you. So head there, choose rise up.com slash daily motivation. And I hope to see you in my inbox soon. Have a great one. Goals. Let's talk about goals. Goals are really just dreams with a deadline. Can we just get an amen to that? Yes. Goals are just a dream with a deadline. And so if you are into goals and if you are into dreams like me, then let's talk about them. Dreams, we all have them, right? And they come in all shapes and all sizes from huge, like, I want to travel the world dreams to small, I want to pay my bills this month and not have to worry about anything kind of dreams. They are from huge dramatic things with the imagination of a child to small everyday things. They show up as small pulls, tugs, and other ways of consuming things that we desire in this world. But despite what other people say, it doesn't really matter when it comes to dreams because what does matter is reaching the dream, whether it's big or small. And what matters is the achievement of the actual goal that you set for yourself. I would stop worrying about what other people think and start worrying about what you want in your heart, what God's placed on you to achieve, to become, to live like, to achieve and do greater things. So when it comes to writing down your dreams, I want you to think about the hope that comes with, with a dream. I want you to think about your wildest dreams and the most audacious goals that you've ever put out there. And I want you to put those back into your mind and I want you to get a pen and paper and I want you to write them down because there is tons of amazing things that happen when you write down the goal. And I'm going to give you seven reasons why you should be not only dreaming big dreams, but you should also be writing them down and actually putting action behind them. All right. There is so much power in writing down your goals and let's talk about them. One, it increases your motivation, right? When you have a big goal in front of you, we have a really large goal right now. Um, it's not even as big as like some of the goals that I have on my board, but my, one of my big goals right now on board, uh, my dream board is to pay off our home. We'd be completely debt-free. Now in the grand scheme of things, that's like less than a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> and we would be completely debt free. And so we've been working on this for a while and it just keeps chipping away. But one thing that's really increased my motivation is that I write down my goal. I write down my dream. I pray over it. I pray circles around it. Um, I have been talking about it for a long time and it, it continues to increase my motivation by having a picture of my home and a debt free life um, on a, my goal board in front of me. The primary reason you'll experience an increased level of motivation 
when you write it down is that self-accountability. That self-accountability happens the moment you commit to the paper on in front of you to reach the objective that you've written down. So it's really kind of giving yourself a command. And anytime that you aren't doing things, your subconscious mind knows it should be doing, it's going to start feeling a little bit of pressure to go towards the things that you've put in front of it. So by writing down your goals, you effectively create your own internal drill sergeant inside of you. And that drill internal drill sergeant is going to keep pushing. It's going to keep pestering. It's going to keep noticing. It's going to keep nudging at you to reach the dreams and the goals that you put in front of yourself. So every single morning, I write out my affirmations of who I am, who God's made me to be, who I want to be in this life and the things that I want to achieve. And one of the things I write down every single morning is that I want to be living a debt-free life. And I, my body, my mind, my, my actions are all going to reach towards those kinds of things. Number two, it improves your recall. When you start writing down your goals, you embed them deeply into your mind, into your subconscious. And this is super important because when your goals get strongly embedded into your mind, they become easier to recall. They kind of become this generation effect. It's basically a fancy name for saying that you generate something out of your own mind, like a goal versus remembering the vague interest or desire. You'll be quicker to remember your goal over the vague desires that were just introduced by somebody else. Maybe something that you watch on TV or you heard about, or you saw somebody else achieve. And this is a great benefit to you because the goals be better remembered, our goals better achieved, which leads to the next cool thing is writing down goals concretes your efforts. Yes, like a magnifying glass, it zooms in on something. If you just hold it up and let it pass through without intention, without trying to do anything, nothing happens. But if the light passes through and goes in a direct angle, it's gonna get to a very concentrated space and that's where the burning starts. That's where the warmth starts, right? And so very similar to a magnifying glass, an unwritten goal, is um gets jumbled and it gets uh gets all processed up. And so when it's unwritten, it becomes scattered. And like everything else that's scattered, it just on on your mind every day, when you are writing your goal, your intention to achieve that goal gets focused. And the more laser focused your intention is to achieve a goal, the more concentrated your efforts are will to be to achieve it. So what's more concentrated than a good, what's, you know, what's more better than a concentrated goal, right? Right. Cause it really creates the focus on what you want to achieve and what you focus on, you create more of, and what you focus on expands. So why not make your dreams concrete. That's number four. The moment your dreams or goal is placed on a piece of paper, it becomes real. It becomes put out there in the world. It becomes tangible. It becomes something that you can create an action plan around. And so once it finds your way to your journal, a word document, the piece of paper, the sticky note on your mirror or your screen, it becomes a place and an opportunity for you to go write a write um, an action plan for and take action on. So the fifth thing is writing down goals helps you tap into your full potential of your brain. Well, like I said, what you focus on, you create more of. And when you are focusing on something, your brain is about to find every piece of evidence around you that is going to support the claim and the thing that you're wanting to do. So it's kind of like when you buy that car, right? So you buy a red um, convertible and because nobody else has a red convertible near you, but guess what? When you get going in that direction, you, once you get that red convertible in your hand and your car, um, everybody around you, you start to see them everywhere. It's your reticular activating system that when you start focusing on something very clearly, you start to see more of it around you. So when you get super focused in and you put pen to paper and you, you get focused in on a goal, you're going to start seeing the evidence and the things that are going to help you actually achieve it. Number six, it makes you 42% more likely to actually achieve your goal simply by writing it on a piece of paper. Yeah. Almost 50%, 42%. You're more likely to achieve a goal and you increase the odds of achieving it just simply by writing it down. You, you are going to be able to, uh, put forth the effort. You're going to statistically speaking, write down your goals. It makes it worth the effort. makes it something that you're going to achieve. So as according to a study conducted by Dr. Gail Matthews um, in the university of California, she says that 40, 42% more likely to, to achieve your goals. It's scientifically based. Yes, you can do so because science says, says so. And number seven, success leaves clues. So look, not everyone in, is going to be a billionaire. Not everyone wants to be a CEO. Not everyone wants to be uber successful in the business world. And I completely get that, right? Like my goal is to live a healthy lifestyle, share my healthy lifestyle and help other people live a healthy lifestyle. Um, My goal is to be debt free. My goals are to be a positive role model in my faith and my fitness and, and my finances. Right. And so being able to do that 
success leaves clues. And because I've been studying high achievers for a long time, I know that this is true. The one clue that I observe, observe the most highly successful people that have in common, not everyone, but the majority of them is that they set goals for themselves. They decide what they want to achieve when they want to achieve it. And they commit to writing that goal down and going after it. Goals are not written down are just wishes. So what are you wanting to do with your life? What are you working on? What is it that you want to really achieve? Most people don't know this, but when you can really are start to articulate it, when you can start to put pen and paper and write down, get really specific about the desires of your heart, the desires that God's put on your heart to, to go out and achieve, to do and be in this world, you're going to have way more power, create way more happiness in your life and find way more success. And that my friend is what we're really all about here at Choose to Rise, helping you rise up out of your current situation and living your absolute best life. So thank you so much for joining me today. I love and appreciate every single one of you for joining me. I hope you have a magical um, holiday season as we can start to moving into that time of, of our lives. And whether you are home or you are with family or you are safely doing whatever, stay safe, mask up, um, enjoy what you can and always focus on gratitude. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I hope to see you back here again next time. Have a great day, everyone. Mm-hmm.